truth is when you start getting into these movements, your knees come right out and this inseam here is stretching. Welcome to Fight City Gym Talk. You are here with Eric Wally and today I'm going to go over Hayabusa fight shorts. They're MMA shorts. They call them the hexagon fight short. So that's this guy right here. It's also very comparable to the Marvel Hayabusa fight short. Which is my favorite fight short. It's the one I happen to be wearing. And I really like them. So, how do they compare? Why do I like them so much? First things first, they're made of a very durable material. And yes, MMA shorts, fight shorts like this are very much like a swimming suit, to be honest with you. It's just like a swimming suit. Big defining factor with MMA shorts, guys. Make sure they don't have pockets. Most athletic commissions, all that I know of, will not let you fight if you have a pocket in your shorts. Now, with that being said, some fight shorts will sneak in a little bitty mouthpiece pocket, which this one does not. So, great short. If you want to save a little bit of money, I would just go with the regular hexagon fight short. Now, some things that they do interesting with these shorts. First thing that you notice when you buy them is they're sticky right here. They put some sort of rubber substance that kind of sticks to your waist and it makes it so it doesn't like go up and down very much. Basically, I competed in a jiu-jitsu tournament a couple weeks back. I wore these shorts and I had that peace of mind that like if he's grabbing around my waist, dragging on my shorts, I'm not going to show my butt to the entire world because that just kind of grips. I don't know what it is, just some sort of plastic rubber that they use and it's super nice. The other thing notable about these shorts is the Velcro. You notice it does Velcro deep all the way across. It gives you a big wide opening all the way across like that is all Velcro. It gives you a big wide opening there. The first peculiar unusual thing that I had a hard time getting used to. These shorts don't have two loose ends. It has this. Does that make sense? There isn't like one string, the other string, and we tie a little bow. It is two strings that are continuous. Okay? So what I ended up doing with these two strings that are continuous is you pull them like this, and then your knot looks something like it's a little bit difficult. Once you once it's on your waist, you've done it a few times. And then you pull it through like so. I'm not gonna teach you guys a knot today, but basically if you do a knot that looks something like that, if you've done this knot before, you know exactly what I've done. When it comes to take them off, you simply just pull on it. And then it's loose again. So I'm kind of impartial. And the reason I, I don't care that much about this string concept that a lot of people that have tried these on in my store here have been like, well, I don't like that at all. The reason I don't care as much, and the only time I've ever tied these shorts up is when I'm competing in live competition. If I'm just rolling with the boys, like I don't really care. If I'm in a live competition and there's cameras on me, then yeah, I wanna make sure that I don't show off the goods to everybody. And so I tie this sucker up. Like I said, it's a little bit complicated this time now that I've done it once with it not being on my waist, I'm doing it a little bit faster. Just like that, so your knots like so. Like once again, I'm not gonna teach you how to tie knots today. But if you do that not right, then all of a sudden, boom, and you're undone. A little unusual. Once again, I don't care so much because 90% of the time, 99% of the time, I'm not tying them up anyway. They fit me right. I'm a size 36. I'm wearing an extra large, I believe. Size 36 waist. Let me make sure. All right, I'm back. So it is a... I'm about a 30, I, I hover between 34 and 36 waist, and this is a large, and it fits me great. So wearing a large at a size 
34 to 36 waist, these fit really well and about six foot tall. So what does this mean? Um, both the hexagon short, which is essentially the same make and model as the Marvel short, and that waist size of 34 to 36, you'd be good with the large. If you're a little bit smaller, I think about going with the medium. If you're a little bit bigger, I think about going with the XL. This one is actually the XL here that I've been playing with. So I love the shorts, high quality. Last thing I was going to mention on them is basically they're elastic right between the legs, which is really nice because this is a really thick, durable material with a high cut inseam right there with elastic on the inside. So when it comes time to kick, your leg will come right out of that inseam this elastic between will just stretch. And so even though you're wearing what feels like a, a heavy sh pair of shorts, a pair of shorts that's like not just gonna be flimsy, you feel like you're wearing a heavy duty pair of shorts. The actual truth is when you start getting into these movements, your knees come right out and this inseam here just stretches. So, Maybe I got a little bit too involved with the camera work today, but thank you. Remember guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. These have been great shorts for me. A little bit pricey, but honestly, I think they're worth it. On a scale of one to 10, you know what I'm probably gonna give them? A seven. Seven means it's worth its value, but it's not the best in the world. There are some shorts I like as well, and they're far cheaper. But these ones, I promise, are gonna last way. I usually buy shorts in the 30 to $40 range, and they get, I get a couple years out of them. I have a feeling these shorts are going to last me a really long time. I've already had them for about six months and they're holding up phenomenally. So I really like these shorts. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll talk to you later.